I probably should have filmed it because it's too funny. Moving this rig around, here's a photo of trying to get the trailer tilted enough to put this little gremlin on there. Not a gremlin, it's a pinto, but you know, metaphorically, it's a little midget machine that someday, if we keep it, it'll get a big V8 in it. But that's not the point. It got a flat tire. Now you see it doesn't. I don't know how long this thing's been off the road and parked sitting, but how to get the keys. It's got a column lock. Figured might as well check the back because it barely missed back here. I open up the trunk, tire iron, and a screwdriver for popping the hubcap off right there. And it had a full size spare with the original little cover over the top of it. I couldn't believe that. It was just meant to be because it barely didn't drag the rockers. And that's the last thing I want to do, even if it's just a little pinto, is mess up the rockers. But you can see the show we got going on. See what I mean? Uh, it was super, super close before. What are you doing, Bone? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. You helping? Why aren't you driving a Pinto? So I unload stuff by myself that I care about. Brakes aren't that good in that. Plus, we're hitting a gopher mount. So, remote to slow it down and then one to pull it off. my top secret Ford collection. I haven't emphasized my collection of Fords. They're actually growing. There's more of them than I thought. But just to elaborate, my Dodge collection is still getting worked on and stuff's getting finished, like this truck right here. And I showed them a clip of me unloading by myself a truck that doesn't have power or brakes. So that was fun. So a little buddy came in clutch right here for that. And couple extra winches but I'm trying to consolidate the rigs that uh, well actually these Fords a couple of them actually do run so I'll go show them to you getting back here in the back 90 what do you think Taylor? they're all organized It's nice back here. I know, right? This spot's always been kind of taken up with other people's stuff. So this is the first time that I've actually been able to use my own upper parking and I'm digging on it. Uh, might have to buy the neighbors though, because I'm not close to it. I think over there right now. Anyway, let's start with the, uh, the random stuff over here. I haven't showed the Pinto to anybody. Why do I have a Pinto? Well, the pricing was right, and it's a one owner. Pinto, that's about all I can say about it. My uncle actually has one of these that he's got a uh, 302 V8 swap in it, and it's, honestly, it's the coolest sounding muscle car I think I've ever like, been around. Did I? I mean, you go to the drag strip once, you've been around plenty of muscle cars, but it just has a cool sound to it. This thing was for sale locally. It's the same year as his. It's got the uh, trunk in the back. It's not like the Gremlin where the whole glass opens up. So it's actually got the trunk, 72, but it had uh, a little bit of a fire damage right there. Let's see if I can open it quick, just to elaborate. I don't know how you fit a V8 in there, but apparently that's possible. And you think, where are you gonna get a V8? Swap out that four cylinder. I'll show you. We'll get around to that. 64. D100. We got plans for this later on. Basically, just going to be cab swap. I got this truck for 
Uh, it was too good of a deal to pass up. And it was so covered in leaves and stuff, I didn't know it was even a Dodge. So I was excited when I saw that it was. But that's not the Ford. First time <laughs> I met Taylor, she was driving this. It's her old man's Ranger. I don't know anything about it other than it barely ran to get to where it's at. And uh, I just stored it for him until... You bought it for 500 bucks about 20 years ago. Oh, okay. You can sell it for 20, 500 bucks now. Probably. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, not my Ford collection, but it's part of the mix. 74 Charger. They told me it was a Challenger, if you guys saw that video, and I showed up and it wasn't. But that's not the Ford. Let's get to the high caliber ones. Always wanted a crew cab Ford dent side, so it matched my old man's truck over there. And I found this one, it was like a 600 mile round trip. I talked the guy down, talked the guy down. He almost met my price and I thought, nah, ain't worth it. And then he ended up saying, come get it for your, your asking for what I offered it to him. But this is a 78 crew cab long bed, which is what I was really aiming for. They didn't make these in four wheel drive, but this has got a 351, actually does run and drive. It sat for like 20 years, 10 years, more than a, more than six months it sat for. And I got it running and driving. And I drove it to town, that was enough. Might do a Cummins swap. I do have another Ford that is a four wheel drive that I could put all the you know components underneath of it. But realistically, if you're gonna go through that much effort, might as well just uh, get some modern stuff to put underneath there so that you can actually perform, you know what I mean? But I bought this one. Haggled on it for a while. I didn't ever think I was gonna find a four wheel drive one because those are pretty much unattainable for like a normal guy's pricing. But my buddy Matt was selling this. Well, he bought it, didn't plan on selling it. Need a couple bucks to make some deals happen. Factory four wheel drive, virtually the same truck. I think it's a 79 though. Short box, four wheel drive. The uh, engine is Rebuilt, laying in the bed of the truck. I got the transmission, laying on a pallet down there. Everything I really need to put it back together. But I, I don't know if I can bring myself to go back to uh, gas V8 power. And this one is what started uh, my dad's pretty much driving career, life and everything. 76 F250, four wheel drive. It's got a 390 in it now. And uh, I just put EFI Live. Uh, sniper on it so she fires up after sitting for months which is extremely nice you don't have to crank on it for 18 minutes and you know parkinson's the throttle but that's my secret ford collection and i'll get around to these eventually but the crew cab is number one priority big time and the 70 charger will be definitely up next if some of these other more modern trucks don't slip through the cracks because this stuff right here there's years of work to do what i want to do to these and it's just, it's not really easy with uh, other priorities, little fellas, little gal, Taylor. But anyway, I just want to show you guys my secret Ford collection because one, two, three, not really, but four for sure. And then somehow that thing's here. But I forgot to mention something. If we do get that running, it'd be purely for a video. But if we did turn that into something, we would take the V8 that came out of the red crew cab, given the fact we four wheel drive come and swap that. But now, I don't know, sell that one, be done with it, run a driver, and take the rebuilt engine out of the four wheel drive crew and put it in there. Something to think about. Over optimistic? Maybe. But. We're getting stuff tackled, so I'm not just one of those guys talking about, talking about, doing, talking to stuff. We're trying. Back to the video. Oh. It's been a minute. We had a busy week. Actual jobs, so I didn't get to work on the crew cab at all. Unfortunate. But, man, it's so nice coming in here and seeing she all primed up. I think what I'm going to do first thing tomorrow morning, just to uh, fill this video out, give you guys a game plan. We're going to go through... And we got a couple dings and dents. I already talked to you about them on this side. This has got high build on it, but I want to put that, not Bondo on there, but that little stuff that fills in just a small, forget what you call it, 
basically. You know what I mean? We're going to get that taken care of. And don't worry about that guy up there. We're going to do the door cards with the same stuff we did the dash. And I did buy the paint. And I'll show it to you, but I ain't going to tell you what color it is. A couple of you guys randomly guessed the right stuff. There's the paint. There is a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars worth of paint. But I'm trying to tackle a couple of these odds and end jobs, some projects I got sitting around here. Like I got these nice aluminum boxes, needed some aluminum welding, and I got that wrapped up. But I'll go out here and show you the dump truck to wrap this video up. Hold on, Callahan. What's the dump truck you want to go look at the dump truck with me? It's right out here. We've been playing around it all day. Do a little bit of tractor work. Got some stuff to pick up. I'm just trying to oh, get some stuff done. Uh, it gets a little exhausting working on the same project for days on end. So I try to do a little bit here and there on some other stuff. All my secret Ford's up there. That's one thing. But the swept lines, man. I don't know what it is. I'm drawn to them. But we'll just give this one a quick walk around. I've already talked about it a little bit. I need to do a, a video and actually spend. I think I can get this thing running and driving one day. I need to get some new fuel lines. It's Unfortunately, it's got the tank that's in the freaking cab, which is stupid. But it's got a hydraulic dump. And whoever put this dump in here actually did a pretty dang nice job. It's got something that's a high caliber dump unit in there. I, I rather like it. But if you follow the other channel with all the second gen stuff, old school. That's unattainium right there. Rennell, they built these bumpers. They got bought out by Buckstop and they shrunk them down a little bit so they're only like this tall. But this is a classic when they were built in California. And they actually had quite a bit more beefcake to it. I got a front and rear that'll go to a second gen. I need to get them off of there, deck this bad boy. And it's got the, the big dog 318 just looks like it's got more iron than it's got piston space but uh yeah that'll be a quick fun project somebody's already done a mild restoration on it let's go to the other side this ain't a ford i know but it's just cool to talk about this old girl because it's actually a pretty nice truck look at them the steps look nice i don't know where the door cards are they might be in there i don't know I had to unbolt the seats so I could tilt the sun gun forward to get to the tank. Man, what were they thinking back in the day? 1970 D500. And it's got the man's mission in there. Look at that. So this one needs brakes and clutch hydraulics. And, I'm, and a fuel line. And I'm pretty confident this old girl will drive around because it was idling. And throttle freaking revving up and everything. But this thing's got a sweet dump unit in it. I think it's got like a 16 foot bed. Kind of funny though that it's got the extras, but then the stick pockets are there. So this is just something you can walk on. Um, I mean, look at the seat. Look at the old girl, man. She is nice. They got uh, the different dash in these things. It's a lot more simplistic rather than the older swept lines. And it almost kind of looks, dare I say, like a Mustang. But this truck is sweet. I did flake this off because it was bubbling a little bit and it was holding some water right here and right here. So whoever did a little bit of work on it, they just, they didn't seem seal it right there like they should have, but she's a straight old bird. All right guys, that's official under right there. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Callahan's trying to get the skateboard action going on. I don't know if you guys know, but I used to skateboard pretty dang much all the time. And I didn't expect him to show interest in it because I don't show him. But he saw the old board sitting there and he's like, let's go. So if you made this far in the video, say, I might have, I might have kicked flipped a couple times back in the day. Or you might not have. We'll see you. Thanks.